Okay, I just threw this on. Uh, I'm wearing flip flops, and um, I don't know that this is something I wear. Whatever, it's fun. So, this video, I wanted to show some of the things that um, I've got for sale, and most of it's vintage. I do have some newer things. Um, but I don't have all of my stuff here with me where I am right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a few things that I do have um, if you follow me on Instagram or Poshmark or Etsy then you've already probably seen these things and you're probably maybe sick of seeing it so I apologize but for anyone who is new um, and it gives an opportunity for you to see it more clearly maybe a little more detail um, I suck at pictures my camera I don't know how to operate it to take good pictures so I don't think the photos really do it justice um, so anyway without further ado I kind of don't know what I want to start with um, oh actually I have this really beautiful piece um, I just posted it not too long ago this what this is, you can see, this is a 1950s uh, Vanity Fair nightgown. It is made of nylon and tricot material. I've never heard of that until last night, so tri tricot. I don't even know how to explain it without sounding very basic. It's so pretty. Look, it's like this baby pastel pink. I mean, look at the detail. That's what I love so much about vintage clothing. It's just like the detail that goes into it. The way it's made is so unique. I mean, look at the, if you see, this is one of the straps and that is so pretty. And this is a nightgown. I don't know if I said that. I'm not sure what I said. It's not a dress. It's a, obviously it's a nightgown or a slip nightgown I think too much for a slip but look at how pretty the color is just so pretty I mean and it's got you know like this tubing stuff and this cute little like tie thingamabobber and I'll show you it says it's a little tag it's a vanity fair can't really see it can you see it Okay, whatever, I tried. <laughs> There's photos of it on Etsy and Poshmark and that kind of jazz, jazzy stuff. Um, yeah. Like, um, so like I, this is really awkward for me. I'm talking to myself and no one's here. I do want to make more videos like these. This is my first one. Uh, so like I said, I don't know if I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably didn't. Uh, so my name is Autumn, and you can find me on Poshmark and Etsy, and I'll have that info available in the description box. But I just want to be able to show, maybe through video, like better detail, because I think you can see it better this way as opposed to my crappy pictures, because I just have my phone right now. I don't have like a fancy camera going on. If they're like really cool special vintage pieces, I just I'm really passionate about it because, I mean, I, like I said, I love how they're made, how they're designed. They're so unique and fabric's always amazing and beautiful. So this is, I guess I would call this kind of like a kimono-y, it's a jacket, but it's kind of like kimono-y and it's, it's big for me, but it's just, it's so beautiful. If it weren't this big on me, I would keep it because it's just gorgeous can see the it's not satin it's actually a hundred percent acetate um, and it's got these giant shoulder pads too this is like I was told that this is circa 80s 1980s and it's got like a little tie thingy here going on and then um, you can button it on the inside too. Uh, here is the brand. I think it's 
I don't know how to pronounce that. My mom pronounced it, and I can't, I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna sound silly. I'm obsessed with this jacket. It will maybe be listed already by the time I post this video. And let's see. Okay, so another piece that I have, and a lot of these things are just things that I've bought over the years, um, and I've either worn them before, maybe once or twice, or even never worn them. Um, I just really love, if I see a piece that I think is amazing, I'll just sometimes just buy it and then <laughs> never wear it. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, cleaning out my closet because I have way too much stuff. I think it's kind of wrong to just let it sit there when someone else could wear it. Otherwise, I would just keep all of it because I think they're so fun and beautiful. So this dress I actually found. Um, I, I used to live in Los Angeles. I'm from Los Angeles. I'm from California. Um, and I was living in Los Angeles. The color is very coral, like a salmon-y kind of coral, um, but the lighting right now, I don't know if it really, it looks more pink to me. But this is obviously circa 80s, but it's got a very like mid-century modern feel to it. And I saw this and I just, I mean, I just had to have it. It was perfect condition, clean, it's just adorable. and. Um, I thought, you know, I bought it with the intention to resell it, but then I just liked it so much I couldn't get rid of it. You know, I don't really know how to pull this kind of stuff off, so a lot of times I'll buy things wanting to wear it, but I don't because I, I just don't know how to pull it off, <laughs> whereas someone else, it's like effortless. So um, what I ended up, I actually ended up keeping it, and I um, was doing background for a little bit, background acting. Uh, basically as an extra and I decided to keep this for my wardrobe and to take photographs in for like 1950s kind of maybe 60s look and this is also got pockets super cute the material is let's see what is it it's polyester and cotton it's half of each which is kind of what I guessed I'm gonna just go This skirt, I also really love. It's so 80s. <laughs> and I just, I love pieces that are just very true to their um, era or time. Or I just, it's so cute. And I have worn this a couple of times. I don't know if it would fit me now. I've lost a little weight. Um, but it fit high-waisted high waisted high waist on me and I wore like a, a crop top with it some sneakers and it was so cute I love it but I don't ever wear it anymore and I just stress out too much about what to wear it with because I'm just weird like that like I said I don't have that effortless talent of styling clothes it takes me like weeks to really decide <laughs> sometimes it's really sad this dress, it's velvet, I guess, also 80s. It's called All That Jazz. All That Jazz. Really beautiful, it's like knee length. Um, the only thing I noticed was that the straps have been altered. So it's like someone cut, because they used to be adjustable. Okay. They used to be adjustable, but it looks like someone cut it and just sewed it directly on and back on and it's not adjustable and the straps are really super long so if, like hanging this is where it comes on me um so I don't know if maybe for like a really tall person if that would work for them you uh and then also I kind of noticed a little bit of this stitching coming out I don't know if someone like I don't know. People are so talented with sewing and stitching. I don't know if someone like re did this or what, but 
I don't know how this would, I don't get it, but this is like coming out a little bit. I mean, it's not completely obvious, but it's definitely something, you know, to take into consideration if you wanted to buy it and, you know, are really like picky about that sort of thing. So that's pretty much it for right now. Like I said, I have a lot more um, things, but I don't have everything um, here with me right now. So I have to, you know, and also I'm not gonna make like a huge, super long video. Um, so I'm gonna break it up and do that so that you can see uh, better lighting and better detail the things that I have posted in Poshmark and Etsy. If you're interested in that, just keep tuning in and um, yeah, and that's what we'll do. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and if you want to follow me on Instagram, that information will be in the description box.